What up all Darp here from Honest Productions, continuing Fez, the ultimate guide to fezzing. We are here in the industrial zone. This is a two-parter. This first part will be covering the windmill area and everything connected to it, and the... I don't know what else to call it, but platform-ish area. It's also got a small windmill to it. I don't know. Second windmill? That's just confusing. Anyway, this first little area, if you want to go ahead and head into the small rooms, there are two bits available. There are a bunch of other side rooms uh, here in this main warp gate area, but uh, I'll be doing I'll be dealing with all those in the next video. This video, I'm just collecting the two bits in each of the little houses here. Uh, but in the windmill and the platforms, I will be getting everything, so don't worry. Uh, and I'll be getting the rest of the stuff here in the next video. It should have been obvious, but, you know, whatever. Alright, and so we're going to head to the windmill. If I can figure out where it is. There it is, okay. So... Go in the windmill. What am I doing? Alright, little delayed. Sorry about that. Anyway, here in the windmill zone, we have three bits, one full cube, and an owl. The third of four owls. We've almost got them. All this owl hunting better be worth it. Spoilers, it's not really. Alright, so collect your bits here. Like I said, there are three bits total. Boom, there they are. You will need a key. If you don't have a key, uh, come back to this area. You should have plenty if you've been following my guide. And this thing... God, this thing's a pain to deal with. Alright, so here, so you can kind of go through my thought process. I'm trying to debate on how much time I have before uh, nighttime, for nightfall. And dying is part of the thinking process, of course. And I'm sitting here thinking, oh, you know, it's about to get dark. Kind of just hang out here for a little bit. But uh, it actually turns out it's going to be quite a while. And now this area is the platform-ish zone I mentioned. Um, not that we'll be really dealing with it right now, but just so you have a visual on what we're, uh, what I'm talking about. Alright, so it's at this point I'm realizing... That was a burp. Apologize. It's at this point I am realizing that uh, we're still quite a ways from Nightfall. So let's go ahead and knock out this little, little room here. So right there is our full cube I mentioned earlier. You can see some of the bits as we spin around. Boom, and that's another full cube. We are just sailing through this. We already got 40 cubes. Or 39 cubes, if I can do math. I was never very good at math, so, you know. Alright, so and that's it for that room. Like I said, it was a very small room. And look at that. We're outside just in time for the owl to stop by. Alright. 
All right, Al's taken care of. Let's head on to the platforms. Again, these platforms aren't anything super tricky or anything. Well, they're not tricky since we can fly. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I guess I should explain... Or, not should, I will explain. Eventually. Sorry. Um, reason why I chose to skip this on my first playthrough... Mainly those turning platforms. Not, not the one I'm turning now, but... Uh, You've seen them at this point. There are platforms that will automatically spin. And uh, I can barely comprehend this whole switching 2D planes thing that this game does. I can barely deal with it when I'm in control of it. I'm not going to let the game take control. That's just... that's... No, it's not going to happen. Alright, oh, and I... God, I completely forgot. This is the platforms area, so there are a list of things. We have five total bits, which we already collected a couple, and that full cube that we just collected. Sorry about that, I was a little behind the ball. Alright, so for this puzzle, you have to die. That's step one, obviously. And see, I just did it there, you know, just reiterate. So you want to line up both sides of this little cube thing. You want to try and find uh, the inner cube. It has an open doorway. Let's try and find it, line it up with the opening on the outer ring cube th thing. There we go. And now actually from this position, and we are just turned to the right of the main door. Uh, you just turn everything right once and there's the door we're looking for. That sounded kind of confusing listening back to it. Um, I hope it made sense. You saw what happened. Alright, so let's cover this uh, last little room here. This is another one that has a, a weird... I don't know. You have to do more than you're actually rewarded for. That, that doesn't make sense. You know, I'm sitting here, I'm working hard turning this crank and all I get is one bit for it. Just seems a little off to me. That's just me. I'm very lazy, so turning a virtual crank by pressing a button. It's a lot of work to me. And uh, not a whole lot of reward to go with it, unfortunately. But anyway, that's pretty much the entire platform area taken care of. Uh, I'm going to head back in and use the warp gates. As always, questions, comments, concerns, feel free to let me know. Uh, I know I've been a little bit confusing in this video. And the last one, honestly. Strange times here. Anyway. Questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video. So, peace out, y'all.